the big European players in the exploration and colonization of America. During the time period known as the Renaissance, technology and knowledge began to grow throughout Europe. People began wondering about the world around them, and this curiosity spurred people and countries to begin exploring the world. New technology was created which allowed people to navigate the ocean. New ships, better compasses, and new navigation techniques allowed people to travel further than they ever before. Marco Polo's journey to Asia and his book told of the riches that lay in Asia. Explorers began looking for routes to get to Asia. Since traveling over land was dangerous, water routes became the focus. People started sailing from Europe around the tip of Africa, but this journey was very long. By this time, it was a well-known fact that the world was round. Christopher Columbus had the idea of traveling west to get to Asia. This was a scary and dangerous thought for most. But Columbus was up to the task. While on his way to Asia, he accidentally discovered America. In fact, he never knew of his discovery before his death many years and journeys later. With this new discovery, focus shifted from trying to find a route to Asia to exploring and colonizing or settling America. The four European countries which were competing for land and riches America had to offer were Holland, Spain, France, and England. Holland sent explorers to the New World under the Dutch West India Company. Holland claimed the present-day area of New York and named it New Amsterdam. The Dutch, which is what people from Holland were called, settled this region to gain wealth for their country. They traded with Native Americans and made money off of fur in North America. The Dutch were eventually taken over by English settlements without even putting up a fight. France claimed Canada, the Great Lakes region, and the Mississippi River region were the middle of America. Since the climate was cold in these areas, the French came to America to hunt beavers and sell their fur back to Europe. The French set up trading posts and traded with many Native American tribes. The Spanish sent many conquistadors to the New World. These Spanish explorers claimed South America, Central America, Mexico, Florida, and the Southwest United States. These conquistadors came to America looking for gold and riches, as well as fame and glory. The Spanish introduced horses and metal armor to the New World as well. This was a scary sight for Native Americans who had never been introduced to these things before. Many natives saw the Spanish as gods. They routinely gave up all their riches to the Spanish, and they were turned into slaves. Another reason for Spanish exploration and colonization was to convert Native Americans to Christianity. Priests from Spain set up missions to accomplish this. The final competitor from Europe was England. English citizens set up permanent settlements on the east coast of present-day United States. These citizens wanted to escape the religious persecution and harsh rule of the King of England. England was also overcrowded, and land in America was cheap or sometimes free. When these settlers came to America, they made money by trading raw materials, such as lumber, crops, and fish, to England. The English were the most successful in the present-day United States because the other countries did not have permanent settlements. The English settlements grew to a size unmatched by the other countries. Therefore, the English controlled the area we now know as the United States of America. Here's a question to think about. 
What happened to the Native Americans who numbered up to 50 million people before the Europeans settled America?